everyone, welcome back. I'm Taylor, and this is another Disney Dreamlight Valley video. Since everyone else is working on autumn and Halloween builds, I thought I'd do something a little bit different and work on uh, a room in the house based on the Lion King furniture items. So let's put some things out and see what we can come up with. So I'm going to filter on Lion King and just grab all of this stuff and see what we've got here. I don't think I want to use the water and coal indoors, so I might come back to that. Let's see. So I've got a few things to choose from. I don't think this is going to be enough to decorate a room with. So let's see what we can come up with and we'll add some other things in as we go. I already placed the level 10 quest reward from Scar and you can't move it right now. So if you're not sure where you want to put it yet, don't place it anywhere until that bug gets fixed because you can't pick it up again. I think I want bedroom in the back corner. So much fun trying to grab things. Okay, let's put that there. I think this would look nice at the end of the bed. Let's do something a little different. Put a wall here. Give us um, a little barrier between the bedroom and this other space. And I think we'll just we'll go ahead and use this as a seating area. I think I want to use more than one of these. Yeah, let's do three. I don't have a chair that goes with the Lion King, but let's try, yeah, let's try this one. It feels a little tight. There we go. Better space there. Let's see. Do with so this this is a kitchen. I don't know if, if you haven't seen it yet, you can actually cook at, at, on a stove. So you just can't move it right now. So let's see what, what kind of kitchen corner we can come up with. No, I think some bones wouldn't go amiss. I don't know who I'm designing this for. I think I want a few more pots for containers. I think I want another waterfall. Let's, let me turn around. Very hard to move around in these small rooms. Let's filter on the Lion King again. Now we'll make this bedroom as well. I like the feel of that. Maybe a little big. So we'll scoot this just a little bit there and there. I think that'll work. And for this corner, see what we can come up with. Kind of like that. Oh, 
Oh, and I think, yeah, I think these shelves would be perfect. Couple of those. That's a little tight, so I'm gonna screw that over. There we go. Now we've got a little bedroom, a little place to bathe. Place to sit and have some food. Let's see. I'm going to use this as a bit of a room divider. Like that. I think I want some flowers. Let's include some of the, the autumn things. I, know, I think this bamboo basket is too big for this space. Definitely want to use these sunflowers. I think the bedroom is a good spot. Let's try there. Get them where I want them. Put some flowers at the foot of the bed. Let's see, what about windows? I bet that looks great. Like that. So, this is bringing in some, uh, I think these are from Mona. So, let's try one of these over here as well. Oh, that feels good, I like that. sit at the table. It's very far away, but if you put it any closer, you can't get back there, I don't think. Let's try. Yeah, you can't sit in the chair. I think that chair might over just a little bit. don't have a lot of lamps to choose from. I don't know why they let us use the street lamps indoors, but I think that would just look a little weird. Okay. Some weird, weird vibes going on here. I kind of like that. And I think I want this wicker just as an overhead. I don't think it gives off any light, but Let's do another one of these over here by the bath. Okay, I'm kind of digging that. Um, this corner is looking pretty bare. I'm going to use another one of these windows. It doesn't really center very well in that space. I think I want a different style of window there, maybe. Let's see. Hmm, that's actually quite nice. What can we put here? I don't really have much. Would it be weird to put cabinets? I think it might be weird to put cabinets. I'm not sure I have any overhead ones. Um, this is where the limitations of Scrooge's shop come into play. Let's see if I can find something. Nope. A different window. Maybe. 
a different window in the bathroom area. Kind of a frosted glass look. So you've got a little privacy. I know it's open to the rest of the room. Let's see. We want something more over here. Very simple. Running the lighting. I don't know why there are bones in the room. It's a, a lion Airbnb. Let's see if we can do something more with the table. Maybe a book. Still doesn't feel centered. That looks like it's going to set the wall on fire. Feels a little too crowded in that corner. So. This is the fun part where we just smush things around a bit until we get something that feels. windows are so cute. I've got the... Oh, look, I've got a spot to put something on this table. It's a single space. So it's going to limit us. Oh, I know. We'll use a candle. Perfect. Maybe a little something over here. Maybe a basket. Bring it all together. So this is our Lion Airbnb. I'm really happy with the lighting changes they made in this update and being able to see out the windows now is fantastic even if it's a little fuzzy. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching.